Hello. 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 Yeah. So you can hear me? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. okay. Hello, uh, Vinay, are you there? Yes, I'm yes, there. Okay, so uh, how many people have joined in? Any count on that? Yeah, just a second. Uh, let me check. 29 have joined. Okay. Uh -huh. So when do we go live? I mean, uh, we are on. Uh, we are live. We are live. Oh, is it okay? Great. Um, uh, let me just quickly check with Sandeep for joining and. Yeah, uh, Sandeep sir has not come. Just check with Sandeep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Uh. Somya, uh, Sandeep sir has joined. Has joined? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Sandeep, can you hear us? Hi, Somya. Yes. Yeah. I can hear you. Hi, Sandeep. Hi. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> Just waiting for you to start. Yeah. Uh, so, Vinay, should we start or uh, do we just wait for a couple of more minutes for the participants to join in? Uh, we'll hold for, uh, so it's four, two. So, we'll hold for another two minutes, two to three. Yeah, yeah let's give it two minutes. Yeah. We can okay. start at four, four or five, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure.
So Vinay, uh, you should be giving the screen share access to me and uh, Joshi, sir. Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, Soumya. Am I audible to you? Yes. How many people do we have joined? We have uh, as of now 35. Okay, cool. 35. <clears throat> uh, we have 35 participants. Cool. As of now. Okay. Thank you. Should we start? It's four five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I good to start. I'm uh, good. Yeah, when yeah, I can you hear us, please? Yeah. Yeah. Are we good to start now? Yeah, Soumya. Yeah, Soumya. I'm able to hear you now. OK. Uh, sh should we start? Yes, we can go. OK. OK. Uh, how many people? 40. Now it is 40. OK, great. Yeah, on that note, um, a very good evening to one and all. And uh, welcome to the webinar on opportunities to scale up your startup with Hubli ESTM Exchange. So HEX is a joint project funded by government of Karnataka through KITS and executed by India Electronics and Semiconductor Association, ISA, on campus of Keeley Technological University, Hopli. Let's get straight to discussing several opportunities to why incubate with HEX. Request Request Sandi Parora, Vice President, Business Development and Government Affairs, IESA, to discuss on Beyond Bangalore initiative of KITS and how HEX fits into this paradigm. Also request Sandeep to highlight on industry support to HEX through ISA. Sandeep, over to you. OK. Hey, uh, hello, everyone. And uh, good to have all of you here uh, in this uh, you know, session. So I'll just take a few minutes and uh, you know, explain to you um, on why it is uh, an important point which you guys all can leverage uh, from a HEX standpoint. So I think a little bit of background is that the startup ecosystem in India is evolving very well. Uh, and uh, last couple of years, what has happened is that even the startups on the ESDM side are evolving very, very fast. Uh, if you look at the global scenario, um, 
we are uh, the, the startups are leading the charge in terms of building and taking to market new products and when i say new products it means you know outside the large companies a lot of new products end to end are coming from small companies mid sized companies and startups and they are uh, you know envisaging use cases and product cases uh, from ground up uh, to execution to take it to market and if you look at the profit pool on the product side uh, it is very important to understand that anyone who owns the product design and manufacturing and market uh, uh, access will take care uh, of the take home the profits otherwise if it is somebody else's design and somebody else is taking it to the market and all uh, we are doing or an entity is doing is to manufacture it uh, for the other person the profit margin becomes very very small so very important that uh, we think of making india a hub of electronic product design and manufacturing right and in that sense there are multiple initiatives by the government uh, multiple uh, incubators uh, are uh, you know working right now in the country and uh, one of the prime examples uh, is hex uh, which is uh, you know uh, in, in uh, which is like a great uh, public private partnership and uh, we at isa are helping uh, you know execute the program so the the idea here is that uh, you get one uh, free access to a state of the art uh, esdm lab and a workspace uh, during pre incubation incubation period you also get uh, office facilities you get facilities in terms of electronics enabling labs in the campus makers lab tinkering lab and you also get uh, you know a brownfield cluster uh, with smt line and validation testing machines right also what happens is that uh, any startup the main thing for a startup is uh, how do you build your product your your thought process uh, and evolve it and uh, to somya's point i think uh, one of the things you know which uh, we uh, we do Uh, as isa is provide mentorship to uh, startups in any of the incubators startups in hex uh, the idea there is that uh, you know eventually as you are building products you need to make sure that you are uh, talking to the right people uh, in the industry someone is guiding you as you build your product through stages uh it is very important for you to keep checking on what is going on are you on the right track or not and i think in that sense uh what what isa does is bring the industry players together and as our member companies we have uh, 250 plus members companies across uh, large mncs to mid size mncs to small companies uh, etc and what we do there is that within the companies there are multiple people who are willing to help startups uh you know move forward uh, and share their experience their knowledge with the startups and we match make those people as mentors with the community so there could be one on one mentorship there could be one to many mentorship there could be a you know design challenge which a startup is facing where they might need uh, you know some support one on one there might be you know some challenge uh, uh, which a bunch of startups are facing and they might need support together so we bring the industry connect also to make sure that uh, all of you as and when you need help you get that help that is the basic idea of the of building the industry and uh, the the startup uh, you know connect uh, and building the ecosystem so what we want to do is make sure that uh, you know many of you uh, who are even thinking about building a product or a solution or a service uh please uh, apply please make sure that uh, you you don't miss the deadline and uh, make sure of this network of you know kelly uh, tech university hex isa ktech startup karnataka ecosystem there are multiple multiple things happening right now in this ecosystem and uh, the esdm ecosystem esdm startup ecosystem is one of the most vibrant ecosystem right now so please make sure that you take advantage of it we are all here to help you uh, we are all here to make sure that you succeed 
in your startup journey uh, so please uh, come forward uh, share your uh, dream your project and uh, take our help whatever way we can provide to uh, make your dream successful thank you somya sure thanks sandeep on that uh, if audience if you have any questions during any of our sessions you may please uh, type in the questions in the question tab uh moving forward uh, let me quickly take you through what hex is and what kind of support we provide at hex uh vinay could you please give me the screen share access here yeah okay thank you just a minute i'm just sharing my screen are you able to view my screen Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So, first and the foremost thing, Hex is incubated at Kupri. Okay. So the best part about the city is from one end to the other end of the city, it just takes you less than fifteen minutes, right? So you don't have to crash through any kind of a traffic at the moment. Okay. And you don't have to really waste much of your time. So you get a lot of time that you save up on traffic. towards your product development and towards your startup so this is a biggest advantage that a city uh, ecosystem can provide to you coming to the infrastructure as such at hex uh, we work from the campus of kelly technological university here at hubli the dedicated uh, incubation space for hex is about 7000 square feet as such on kelly tech campus uh, the total incubation space allotted is about uh, 33000 square feet out of which hex forms a very small part which is about 7000 square feet and we are growing from there we have recently established the state of art uh, idea to prototype estm lab uh, this is helping to a greater extent our presently incubated startups apart from this we have very well equipped workstations we have a co-working space we have meeting rooms we have pantries and we have all the basic amenities that any incubator can provide a quick look at the incubation center here we work from the tech park of kelly technological university this is how the entrance to hex premise looks like this is the co-working area this is the incubation bay these are the meeting rooms uh this is a idea to prototype lab i'll show you the details of the lab in my next slide these are our ecosystem partners to enable hex to a greater success and this is another incubation bay area so this is a recently established idea to prototype estm lab we have uh, procured the best of the best equipments here to support uh, prototyping by startups so the, using this lab startups could successfully test the prototypes that they are building and validate the results and improvise on it so that further uh, precision towards the product can be achieved now talking about the entire ecosystem as such this is one slide that i've put in place allow me to explain this so the four major uh, milestones that we see in a startup journey is ideation prototyping product and scaling up right now i'll quickly explain how hex and how the ecosystem at hubli helps you to scale up your startup so right from the ideation stage we put you on to a mentor right and your mentoring at hex is not just changing your mentor every month or uh, changing your mentor every fortnight there's a very very systematic mentoring process that we follow which will help a mentor to follow up on how the startup was a month ago and what is the kind of progress that is the startup has made so that appropriate mentoring can be done to the startup this also helps the startup to appropriately put on the table to the mentor ki this is what i want could you help me with it and this is why we call it as a systematic mentoring So the mentoring process starts from the ideation stage and goes up to the scaling up stage. Startups use the idea to prototype lab to build the products and uh, throughout this 
lab access is available to them. The research and uh, faculty involvement during the product development is enabled through EPIC. Now, EPIC is ESTM Product Innovation Center, which is a department at Cayley Technological University, headed by Mr. Sri Krishna Joshi. The purpose of establishing EPIC is to churn up a lot of activity in the ESTM domain from the campus of Cayley Tech University. So a lot of support on the research and assistance to the startups by faculty to co-create products is provided through EPIC. From the ideation stage until building of a prototype to realizing a product, there are multiple interference that can be used from the campus of Cayley Technological University, one of it being electronics enabling lab, which is called as EEL. This is basically a RF testing and validation lab, which can be used to test and calibrate the product with respect to radio frequency. The next is a makerspace. We have a very good setup in terms of makerspace with uh, the 3D printing machines, the CNC machines, the uh, uh, develop the laser cutting machines, uh, basically helping any kind of product casing and product uh, uh, packaging to uh, a modular unit, I would say. We have on-campus MSME-sponsored uh, IP facilitation cell. This can be used by startups again to file for the patents, trademarks, and copyrights. Now, all these facilities are available on campus, and this is the biggest advantage why a startup has to be incubated here. The startup doesn't have to run about for utilizing the IP facility to anybody in Bangalore or any other center. This is pretty much available on campus. There is funding available from HEX. The funding from HEX is available between idea to product development stage. And uh, we fund basis the requirement of the startup and basis the kind of uh, request the startup is giving to us. And this is a non-equity based funding through HEX. Now, apart from this, since we are a part of the ecosystem at Cayley Technological University, and Cayley CTI is a major incubator at Cayley Technological University, there's a openness uh, to startups incubated at HEX who can access funds through Cayley CTI. Now, Cayley CTI is a Nidhi Seed Support Scheme recognized center by DST. So through Cayley CTI, startups can get funded anywhere between 25 lakhs to 1 crore for scaling up activity. Apart from that, Cayley CTI is also a tied 2.0 G2C center recognized by Metis. Again, over here, there's a lot of funding available to support startup for prototyping and scaling up. Over and above this, there is, uh, since we work, from the campus of a prestigious engineering institute. There is a lot of availability of the interns and who can further be uh, you know, taken up for employment by the startup. And this is again channelized through EPIC. A quick look at the RF lab that is here. This is the anechoic chamber. This is one of its kind facility, which is available at DRDO and which has been replicated over here. This uh, has a radiated testing of up to 6 gigahertz. Uh, we have the network analyzers and the other equipments that are set up here. Yeah. So this is about uh, facilities at HEX. I now request uh, Shri Krishna Joshi sir to take us through uh, product development phases for the startup and the support provided to them through EPIC. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. So you're yeah, audible. Yeah, sure. yeah. Am audible. I audible? Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, so I was just explaining the the model in which the current hex activities are going on, and uh, I take care of uh, the unit called EPIC, which actually is a support organization for the startups that work in the hex as well as in CTI. Um, basically, it looks into how the interaction happens between the academy and the the startups that are there in the hex space specifically uh, focused on the ESDM products. Uh, we are not uh, looking at something which is very much related to avionics or something else. And a lot of the contents happen to be other than the ESDM space. Now, this particular group works uh, in three different modes. One is basically in supporting the, the startup in terms of its staffing needs. The staffing needs could be in terms of the interns, which are actually specifically trained in certain aspects of the technology which is related to that particular startup, uh, be it in embedded systems or be it in IoT or specifically in the artificial intelligence or machine learning. Uh, we actually make the people ready for certain assignments which are expected from the startup uh, by putting these interns into a training uh, session and then a weekly or a, a regular training happens to them to see that they become contributing to the actual system. And of course, this, uh, uh, this set of interns or uh, who are actually uh, wishing to be part of this particular startup uh, ecosystem, they're also selected jointly by the, the EPIC team as well as the, the, the team, the startup which is actually taking them. The next level of interaction happens when uh, uh, the startup has got specific research needs. Uh, this is something which uh, I myself have seen as a uh, founder of a startup and part of a startup in three or four companies, wherein the focus sometimes shifts from the engineering to a research. And a uh, lot of the time and energy and the money is spent actually on the research on a specific topic. For example, if a particular product uh, related algorithm is to be developed. A uh, lot of the staff in the engineering is actually put into this particular algorithmic development. And uh, that time is actually something like they could have actually got the benefit if there were somebody who could take this particular thing and run on their own. Now, this is where exactly the, uh, the program uh, from the EPIC helps them, wherein the part of their particular product subsystem can be actually taken out and built as a separate unit or an integrable unit into their system. And the faculty, the research associates, and the interns work together for this sort of a deliverable. Now, this can happen through the shared IP and also with a, some specific uh, a sort of a financial engagement with the, the interns and the research associates, which work for this particular cause. The other model that we also look into the research is where the complete research or, or the, the, the entire prototype out of that particular research is actually owned by the uh, campus and it is actually licensed to the particular startup. This actually helps the startup to speed up their particular delivery where exactly they are taking a sort of a third party uh, product and integrating into their system for a specific need. So this would help them in seeing that there is already a ready-made component which can be integrated into the system and made into a full system. So these are the sort of the interactions that the, the startup can have with the EPIC, uh, basically in terms of the entrance requirement or a staffing requirement or a specific research or an idea that needs to be developed into a, a particular prototype or a subsystem that is fully developed and that can be integrated into their system so that they actually get a, a sort of an advantage in terms of the time and the quality of the system. Other than this, the, the, the EPIC also helps in terms of connecting to the professional network wherever it is necessary. This is especially true when the, the product has to be scaled. For example, if uh, a certain 
idea has come and uh, this has been tested in the lab and it has been tested in terms of say 10 or 20 prototypes but uh, this needs to be scaled up for example if your uh, system needs a sort of a, a tracking mechanism and this needs to be put on the web and there are some say uh, one lakh or more than one lakh type of simultaneous users are required to be tested on this in in that case that sort of an infrastructure is not very easy to really build now this is where the a professional elevator network from the epic comes into picture where it can actually uh, see that this sort of an enabling can happen and a, an appropriate agency can be selected and they can actually take part in this sort of a testing that is what is required for this particular startup and this is something which saves money and saves time for the startup because the startup need not really have to do this sort of a research who would be the best person to really uh, take care of this particular testing uh, requirement so in a nutshell this is something that epic wants to provide in terms of the support in every stage of its development uh, of course the ideation uh, viability of an ideation fit for a market or something like that any sort of a, a specific input that is required that could come from the epic from our own professional network or any sort of a specific uh, purpose built uh, i would say the subsystem subsystems or modules that needs to be integrated in the system that can come from the the epic uh, partnership uh, but the model is that now the the, the startup with uh, its own uh, management structure and with its own leads interact with the epic and the epic will have the faculty the research associates the interns as part of it they would interact with the the specific start to really do the delivery it is something which is different from a sponsored uh, sort of a uh, research where you carry out a certain thing and move it to a particular university and the university works on that and the specifically it takes a uh, much more time than what you really expect and the timelines are uh, actually drafted by uh, in terms of say quarters it is not like that here it is something like it moves along with your needs and the timelines are jointly worked out by the epic and the, the startup in question so this is in a nutshell what the epic provides uh giving the best of the interns uh who are specifically trained on the the actual activities that are related to that particular startup as far as the esd is concerned or they can be actually graduated to a sort of a the employees of the company uh, after a, maybe six months or eight months down the line when they are really good the startup can actually uh, have them as a part of their stuff or they can rely upon the the best the research engineers in terms of uh, the uh, the quality of the the analytics or quality of the algorithm development that they can do and uh, along with that there are other laboratory support and those things which are if required that can be given from the the specific faculties themselves okay in terms of a very specific testing requirement which needs an access to a specific a specific uh, laboratory of the particular department okay that can be worked out so this is in a nutshell what the epic provides as a support to the startups that aspire to really build the uh, the breakthrough products and this is one differentiating, uh, I would say, aspect of working in as a part of the Hex and working elsewhere, either as a part of an accelerator or an incubate, incubating system. Okay. Uh, I would share some of the things. I think uh, some of you have that those uh, slides with you. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you want maybe if required, it? this additional details can be uh, shared to them as and when required. Okay. Okay through the handles uh, any okay. any questions on this so we'll take up the question shortly once okay. uh, all our presentations are done is okay. that okay with you yeah okay okay sure Bye. so sure thank you sir and uh, that was shrikrishna joshi director of uh, epic center at kaili tech university we are indeed building on a very very aggressive and uh, very, very ambitious dream to support all the ESTM startups in this part of the region. So thank you, sir, on that. Thanks a lot. Uh, now may I request uh, Ravi Guttal, sir, 
who is the director of uh, HEX, as well as Kaylee C. Tai and CIPD at Kaylee Technological University, uh, to pose a few questions to the panel first, so that a uh, few basic questions could be addressed before we take up actual questions from the audience. So, over to you. Hey, thank you, Soumya. Uh, thanks the for the uh, thanks to the panelists who have given the outline of hex and how hex plans to support the entrepreneurs i have few questions to the panelists and the first question is to you somya uh, how do you plan to attract serial and portfolio entrepreneurs to hubli and hex in particular yeah uh, thank you for that question. Now, uh, the thing over here is uh, we need not attract. I believe that uh, once we have the right ecosystem in place and we provide a support on an end-to-end -end basis, we automatically see that inflow from the startups from different parts of the country to come and incubate over here. And this is exactly what we have seen in our previous cohort as well. We had many companies from Bangalore shift their base to Hubli so that they could avoid the kind of traffic, the kind of uh, metro life, wherein Hubli being a city, calm and cool, they could concentrate purely on the product development and getting the product faster into the market. So we have seen uh, this trend in the past. We continue to see it uh, with uh, different incubation programs here uh, on campus at Kaylee Tech. So I believe that if we have the right kind of infrastructure in place and we build an ecosystem around it, the startup flow will automatically flow in. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I would vouch for that uh, because uh, not only it's a, a calm and cool place, but it is also well connected. I mean, uh, you are equidistant from both Bangalore and Pune and Hyderabad. So it's like the center of uh, the three cities, like centroid of the three cities, I should say. Apart from that, uh, a lot of industries which are coming to Hubli, like we have the uh, white goods manufacturing cluster, then a toy cluster in copper, which is a, a stone's throw yeah. away from Hubli. So there's a lot of activity happening in Hubli as far as industries are concerned. We already have Tata Hitachi, Tata Marco Polo, and such big industries around. Acres is also there. So, Acres, yeah. Yes. So, so we are seeing trend uh, changing over yeah. the last uh, couple of years at least. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, my next question again is to you, Soumya. Is HEX going to focus on few sectors or is it sector agnostic? Okay, at the moment, uh, we are working uh, with a, a fixed thing of supporting only the ESGM startups. Uh, we have not defined any kind of a subdomain under this ESGM uh, 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 pool as such that we wish to support. So at the moment, we are uh, sector agnostic. Uh, but going forward, we may like to focus on a few areas. But however, uh, we would like to support on all the functional developments as well of a startup, which are uh, common across a few startups. So okay. we are okay with that at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Soumya. Uh, now, going on, uh, I have a few questions to uh, Sandeep. Uh, Sandeep, uh, yeah, I'm here. Yes. Uh, a question for you, what you have already elaborated uh, some of these points, but do you have a list of mentors with ISA who are uh, and, and their expertise or domain of expertise? So pretty much all member companies have people who are willing to become mentors. Oh, and we don't have a ready list, uh, which I can share right now. But 
companies across say for example ti and uh, micron and nxp and uh, intel qualcomm and then yeah. Okay, we lost Sandeep there. We lost Sandeep. Uh, okay. Sorry for that. I I will take up this question now. So, so yeah. what we have seen with the previous cohort at Hex is um, we typically. Oh, Sandeep is back. Yeah, okay. I'm back. Right. Sorry, I I I got the certain green. So I was saying that there are multiple people across companies available, and okay. uh, depending on what kind of help is needed. See, sometimes a startup might need a very very technical help, right? So we'll pick yeah. that mentor. Sometimes they need business help or go to market help. So we'll yeah. pick that. So depending on what help is needed, as the startups come and start the incubation program, uh, yeah. we track it, and then depending on what help is needed, we absolutely provide that. Uh, absolutely fine, uh, because the list of companies you've just mentioned itself is quite impressive, and yes. uh, the people and multiple people there. from these companies are willing yeah. to help. So. Yeah, and the people working there will be well trained and uh, yes, 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 quite professional and yes. Might have a very good network of uh, absolutely yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Sandeep. Uh, my next question is to uh, Sandeep and Soumya, both of you. We are seeing that one of the biggest challenges what startups face is establishing a network of marketing partners, suppliers, technology partners, because. Uh, as a startup, most of these are uh, entrepreneurs are quite young. They might not have established such a network of uh, market partners or distributors, suppliers, technology suppliers, and so on. So, how does Hex and ISA plan to support these young entrepreneurs? You go ahead first, Samia, then I'll, I'll come in. Yeah, okay. I will talk from the incubation perspective. Now, uh, that is the reason why uh, people, uh, I mean, startups uh, prefer to work from the incubation center, actually. So mm -hmm. in an incubation center, they co-learn from uh, different uh, startups who work around with them. Right. So typically, since we are only focusing on the ESGM startups, and uh, when we know that uh, startups are building products here, so, uh, and few startups are already on a matured stage. Uh, so, uh, the kind of uh, network that they've already established, uh, they would be more than happy to share with an incoming startup to whom they can connect in terms of uh, different, um, you know, uh, uh, for procuring the raw materials and things like that. And also, if they are uh, in the same uh, uh, subsector, to promote the product, they don't even mind sharing the distributors as well because ultimately these guys are not competing with each other and they're competing with the world, right? Mm -hmm. So we we see this kind of a co-leveraging of uh, systems developed by different startups in within the incubation system uh, center itself, right? Okay. And we have seen multiple examples in the past. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Sandeep. Uh, do you want to add from my no, absolutely i think the cross learning between startups is very important and uh, you know startups which have graduated from the incub various incubation centers are is very important also what we do from isa standpoint is that uh, as we are engaged in multiple incubators across the country uh, we also try to provide cross learnings from various incubators into other incubators so that uh, you know uh, mistakes are minimized and uh, uh, whatever learning we have gained from one particular uh, incubator can be replicated in the other one. Okay. Uh, thanks for answering the questions, Swami and Sandeep. Finally, I have one question for uh, Mr. Sri Krishna Joshi. Uh, how has Kaley Tech supported this entire journey? Okay. Uh, and uh, in particular, the faculty, the leadership of the university and so on. Okay. Uh, basically, this uh, concept of the EPIC, uh, uh, it started in uh, around uh, in December uh, 2019. 
and uh, there are different levels of discussions on how exactly the faculty, the research that is going on in this particular department, and also the students can participate in the, the startup journey at a stage which is appropriate for both the people. Like they are able to contribute the maximum. At the same time, they also has got the rich dividend in their academics also because of this particular participation. So with that, uh, the idea was to see how exactly we can supplement the startups with the interns. And uh, to say that now, already there are one or two startups who have got this particular benefit. Uh, in fact, I interacted with at least two or six or seven companies in Bangalore, made them aware of this sort of a facility available in uh, CTI Hex. And at least two companies, they decided to really come here and one is already in operation. Mm -hmm. So these companies, uh, saw a value in this sort of an interrelationship between academics and the, the startup so that the startup need not really burn out itself in terms of the, the topics which are related to a specific research in a product area or an algorithm area or any other area. Now, this is one experience I've got in terms of getting one person or one company here and now it is actually started. And uh, currently they are looking at the interns and we are already given few interns and they are actually working with them and we want to really supplement them with much more trained and really uh, the people who can really deliver in time because this internship is something which is slightly different from the things that work with uh, other uh, companies wherein they actually give maybe some sort of the fringe works or something which is very specific or a niche which can be completed in six months or nine months whereas this is something which is a live product because they become a part of a live product or a live prototype and their working mechanism should be something different. So we also train the interns to that effect. Uh, in terms of the research, yes, there are certain, uh, I would say the interactions that are going with some of the companies in Bangalore who wish to really shift their center of excellence to the hex. It may take a, uh, probably around a month or so really see that how exactly the things work out. But once they come here, they definitely need a sort of a research support that we are talking about earlier in terms of the, the faculty and the research associates working with the startup companies. And uh, their area is mostly into the AI and ML. And uh, few people are also working on to the, the, uh, the sensor networks wherein they are actually looking for a different sort of a, uh, the transport network built for the, uh, the IoT. So, three or four companies are actually looking at these sort of requirements and uh, possibly if one or two come here then definitely then we can actually look at the this sort of a research activity starting up in the faculty overall the idea is that the 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 sort of the industry awareness and the readiness of the people here in the academies is is increased and the the industry gets the best of the academy research and also the best of the students uh, who are actually working for maybe some insignificant things in some of the MNCs, they will long work as owners of the product or owners of a few subsystems. So that is the idea. Hopeful that, okay, this sort of an interaction uh, will actually get some sort of uh, modifications over a time and then get stabilized in a year or two. And that is the idea that I would, X is the one thing that I'm taking and uh, this we've also want to see how exactly this can be extended to the other people in the CTI also. Yeah. So yeah. this is this is in what I feel about how exactly we can support. Yes. And uh, definitely the owned subsystems of the campus, that is, which are something which are built in the campus to be integrated into the system, I believe it takes at least two or three years down the line to really come to that level. Sure. Uh, looks like a win-win situation for yeah. uh, the Definitely. entrepreneurs as well as for the students. Yes. See, the entrepreneurs get a young mind which is not constrained by experience. So they are probably more innovative and more energetic, more mm -hmm. risk taking. And the entrepreneur can tap into the energy of these young minds. And the, the students will learn on live products and also learn from the experience of the entrepreneur. And uh, the faculty 
definitely research oriented faculty will benefit from some of the problem statements what the entrepreneurs will come up with for them uh, looks like a win win situation yeah. for everybody uh, thank you mr joshi yeah. and uh, thank you panelists for uh, addressing the would be entrepreneurs and startups already who are taken the journey thank you sir thank for you. Uh, yeah. doing the required due diligence on the questions first before we take up the audience question so i already have a question here in the chat box uh, so as ravi ranjan singh is asking us uh, is there any way an art and sculpture manufacturing startup can get incubated at hex uh, art sculpture or toy manufacturing startup yeah uh, okay i'll take it up so ravi uh, we support all the startups which have electronic components within it so if your toy has any kind of an electronic component within it and it needs some kind of a leveraging with the support of incubation center you can please apply yeah yeah uh, any other questions from the audience we are now open for questions from audience actually okay um can a team of students from non kali tech including kali tech students uh get these benefits uh there's a question from vivekanand on this joshi no. sir would you like to take up this question now currently currently i am limiting this to only the kali and the city because of the uh the vicinity and because of the 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 way that actually we can manage the entire uh, the group of the faculty the uh the interns as well as the placement groups okay so when we extend to that it could be i i would say that maybe two or three years down down the line we may extend it to other uh, colleges also but the model will be entirely different so currently it is limited to the people from the kl institute only okay thank you yes. um any other question from the audience so if you could please type it out in the question tab we can take it up now and uh, vinay in the meantime can you please share the screen share access yeah so i'm now yeah okay Sure, thanks. Um, so, any questions from the audience? Might want to share your uh, email address, uh, Samya, on the chat window so that if there are any questions, they can send it offline also if they are not. having right now so yeah yeah sure yeah. i think there's one more um okay there's a question from dr sunil sangodli who's asking us that he's continuing his research on foundry 4.0 how would hex help his research um uh, joshi sir again would you like to take it up what was the question like um uh, no. he is continuing his research in foundry 4.0 hmm. how could hell hex help his research okay uh see the the current uh, the scenarios that we are actually uh, having an interaction with uh, the electronics uh, and communication department and uh, with the it department and the computer science department and any sort of a specialized research in these areas are possible wherein we can actually have a a small team actually designated for a specific research and they work together with a particular company to do that uh but if this is something which is extending beyond that for example if it is in the uh mechanical engineering metallurgy or aviation space or aerospace uh, currently uh we are limited only by the esdm framework so we are not really looking into that at this particular moment okay hello yeah thank you so okay. 
so that yeah any other questions we might take up another question from the audience before we actually close And so maybe, uh, they can actually mail a specific requirement to one of us, okay? So that we can actually elaborate on that. Yeah, yeah. Later. So I'll share my email ID with them. Yeah. And uh, I'll connect the panel uh, depending on That's the request. Uh, yeah. You send it across, yeah. Okay, so I'm sharing my email ID in the chat box and uh, uh, you can mail me the requirements and we'll see how best uh, Hex could support you on all of these. Um, okay, any other question? Okay. Um, uh, we are now at Hex uh, uh, open for uh, applications from the new cohort. We would like to enable this new cohort by 1st of uh, October. And hence, we are uh, taking in the applications uh, at the moment. I'm quickly sharing my screen so that, uh, yes, if you're able to see my screen here. Yeah, so this is a new cohort uh, invitation poster. We are closing the applications on the 15th of September. So uh, you should uh, mail your business plans to hex at isaonline.org. And uh, the screening committee will review your pitch. And uh, then you'll be incubated at hex. And the journey starts. So whoever is interested, please feel free to apply and uh, get the best of it. Uh, we will also have this particular poster uh, shared across to all the registered uh, members of this webinar today so that uh, you have the poster handy with you and you can understand the different kind of benefits that Hex provides. So there is one question here. Uh, we are currently uh, incubated uh, our startup at KLE Belgum, can we apply for seed or project funding at Hex? Uh, I'm afraid you can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, Krishna, uh, this funding at Hex is available only for incubators who are incubated at Hex. So you have to be a part of the ecosystem to avail the funding, any funding for that matter, even through KLE CTI as well. All the funding that is available, you will have to be a part of the ecosystem at Kaylee, CTI, or at Hex to avail the funding. I'm sorry, we cannot uh, uh, do the required thing here. Yeah, but definitely, if you want to be a part of Hex, you can please apply to us, and then we'll be more than happy to help. Yeah. Uh, any other questions before we officially close? OK, there's one more question coming up. OK, yeah, that's Krishna again. Um, sure, I think um, uh, we are good to close now. And um, thanks to the panel. Thank you, Sandeep. Uh, thank you, Joshi, yes. sir, and Ravi, sir, for this wonderful okay. session Bye. that we put together. Yeah, thank, and, you. Uh, thank you so much for having us. And uh, always yeah. great to be here uh, yeah. with Hex. Yeah. Thanks, Sandeep. And thanks thank to the audience, most importantly. Uh, thank you so much for being uh, very patient and uh, giving all your years to all the speakers today. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, we will share the uh, cohort invite uh, application with all of you. Uh, please feel free to apply and be part of Hex and bring up your startup through the help of Hex. Thanks a lot. Have a great day ahead. Thank you, everybody. Thanks.